Everyone is talking about AI right now, and most people are telling us that it's going to be the end of photography. It's seeming like we will be replaced or out of work and no one will care about humans taking photographs anymore. Well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. AI is actually going to save photography, and here are a few reasons why. Advancements in photography and technology in general are slowly making things so much easier and automated and generally making our input lower and lower. This removes the likelihood of mistakes, but it also kind of makes things a little bit robotic. The issue with this is we are at the risk of becoming obsolete when pressing the shutter, but only in certain circumstances and only if you let photography be replaced by something like artificial intelligence. Let me explain further. So we all know that certain types of photography require more artistic input than others. And it's a fact that some businesses, companies and people will be happy opting for AI images as it's saving them time and money. And at the end of the day, all they really care about is their bottom line. This is true for images like a beautiful waterfall or a more stock type of photography that we definitely do need, but it's not the only type of photography out there that the world needs. In fact, the more online we become as a society, the more image centric we will be, creating more of a need for a diverse range of images. I'm not saying I agree with AI taking jobs from humans. What I am saying is this, if that is the thing you are scared of in your career, then you really should be giving your human touch and your creativity more credit. Human beings are wonderful and creative things that are capable of so much more than artificial intelligence will ever be. I think the arrival of this technology in photography allows us to really lean into the human element that we bring to the craft. Part of the human element in any area includes mistakes and mishaps, something that AI is the total antithesis of. I think this is an interesting thing to keep in mind when looking at your practice as a photographer. How many happy accidents turn into beautiful, memorable, or even career-changing photographs? Probably a lot more than we think or even know about. So sitting at the forefront of this new technology and the threat of being taken over by AI, where does this leave us as photographers? It seems like the perfect time to sit down as an artist or a photographer, a creative, and really think about what makes you, you. So the way I see it, yes, AI will be used and embraced and it will change the landscape for photographers, but it will work to place more value on any creative that offers something unique and special, especially if they can articulate that value and get it across in a concise way. All the more reason to have that one or two things that make you you as a photographer and are your niche and become synonymous with you as an artist and what you have to offer. Often as human beings, we build connections with people like right now on YouTube in this video, and that can skew our idea of how much we like or dislike something that that person produces. This often results in us liking something that someone does a lot more because we've built that connection and it feels more personal. I think this is something that will never go away no matter how much we move through the future. We love to hear people's stories and we love to connect with other human beings. We like artists and their work for a multitude of different reasons and simply an online tool showing up that can make a photograph of whatever you tell it to 
won't compare to the magnitude and nuances of a real life human being taking an idea from start to finish and putting their personal stamp on it. What I'm trying to say is the arrival of AI will serve to push artists further, but also, and more importantly, it will make the layman and the consumer appreciate creativity more. In the absence of the human element, I predict that society will crave it and seek it out more. And I think that this will help us to celebrate the nuances of people and open up new opportunities for creatives to do what they do best. Who knows what the future holds and admittedly here, full transparency, I don't really know that much about the technicalities of AI or where it's going, but I don't really think that's necessary for today's conversation. I think my point here is more about knowing what it means to be human and making sure we all collectively value that no matter what the future ends up looking like. I am reminded when talking about this topic of all of the great films we have seen predicting the future. Take the Spike Jones flick, Her, for example. There are a lot of props and things in that movie that are quite outdated for the time that it's set in, and I think that could possibly be on purpose. The simple task of boiling a kettle on a stove or using a knife to cut a vegetable is a humbling activity in today's world and a reminder of who we are and what we came from. Or one of my personal favorites, Blade Runner, which seems like the perfect movie to bring up when we are discussing things like AI. Implanting memories in the replicants gives them the facade of being human, but it's never quite the same. The exception being Rachel, of course, and maybe we will live to see a version of AI that is as stunning as Rachel, but I'm not sure replicant can ever truly come off as human. What do you think? Have you ever retired a human by mistake? By mistake, by mistake.